the burden of Nineveh continueth. Nahum chapter 2. He that dasheth in pieces is come up against thee. Keep the fortress, watch the way, make thy loins strong, fortify thy power mightily. For Yahweh restoreth the excellency of Yaakov as the excellency of Yisrael. For the emptiers have emptied them out and destroyed their vine branches. The shield of his mighty men is made red. The valiant men are in scarlet. The chariots flash with steel in the day of his preparation. And the cypress spears are brandished. The chariots rage in the streets. They rush to and fro in the broad ways. The appearance of them is like torches. They run like the lightnings. He remembereth his nobles. They stumble in their march. They make haste to the wall thereof, and the mantlet is prepared. The gates of the rivers are opened, and the palace is dissolved. And it is decreed, she is uncovered, she is carried away, and her handmaids moan as with the voice of doves, tap-tapping over their hearts. But Nineve hath been from of old like a pool of water, yet they flee away. Stand, stand, they cry, but none looketh back. Take ye the spoil of silver, take the spoil of gold, for there is no end of the store, the glory of all goodly furniture. She is empty and void and waste, and the heart melteth, and the knees smite together, and anguish is in all loins, and the faces of them are all become pale. Where is the den of the lions, and the feeding place of the young lions, where the lion and the lioness walked, and the lion's whelp, and none made them afraid? The lion did tear in pieces enough for his whelps, and strangled for his lionesses, and filled his caves with prey, and his dens with torn flesh. Behold, I am against thee, saith Yahweh of hosts, and I will burn her chariots in the smoke, and the sword shall devour thy young lions, and I will cut off thy prey from the earth, and the voice of thy messengers shall no more be heard.